Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Nintendo Switch video. Just a super quick one, but in this video, I wanna show you guys a really cool Easter egg. If you guys have had Nintendo consoles in the past, you'll know that sometimes they like to hide little Easter eggs in different parts of the menus or kind of the startup animations. GameCube, for example, you could hold down a button to change the startup animation sound. Really cool stuff, and the Nintendo Switch actually has something like that. However, in order to do it, you have to be in handheld mode. This does not work if the console is docked, hence why we are like this. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to Alex from Nintendo Life. He actually found this, told me about it, so massive shout out to him. You can find a link to the Nintendo Life YouTube channel in the description box down below. Definitely check them out, they've got some awesome Switch videos too. But in order to find this Easter egg, firstly you need to be in sleep mode, and then if you press the power button, you are presented with this screen. This is basically your lock screen, and then in order to get to the home menu, you basically press a single button three times. It has to be the same button, so you can't mix your combinations. But for example, in this situation, if I wanted to log on, I could just press down on the D-pad three times. I could press A, I could press X. I can press any button on the joypad, provided I press it three times. That is how you bypass the lock screen. However, there are four very select button inputs that if you press them, they play different sounds. So this is the normal sound. But if we then return to the lock screen, and if you then click in the left stick, you get this sound instead. After that, if you then click in the right stick three times, you get this sound, which is a little bit reminiscent of, say, a Banjo-Kazooie sound, in my opinion. Then after that, if you press ZL, you instead get this clicking sound. And then finally, if you press ZR instead, you get a sort of clown horn. So there you have it, really quick, really simple. Obviously it doesn't actually impact your experience or anything like that, but it's a super cool Easter egg. So for those of you guys that kind of do appreciate these things, then that is indeed hidden there. However, there is one more thing that I'll show you guys, of course, again, only in handheld mode. You won't get this if you connect it when it's docked. But if you are in handheld mode, then by now you guys should be very familiar with the signature Nintendo Switch Click. This actually does play if you connect the Joy-Cons whilst in portable mode. So you slide it on the side, and when it clicks in, it also plays the Nintendo Switch Click. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. Just a super quick video, but I really like those kind of things, so nice to see there's some stuff hidden away there. Once again, massive shout out to Alex from Nintendo Life for sharing this with me, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think, and be sure to check out all the other Nintendo Switch coverage on the channel. Thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.